this readathon is killing me right now. I'm still on my Lady Jane, and I'm on chapter 13. So, I've got about 36% of it done. It is now 6.32 in the evening. I just finished, well no, I didn't just finish camp. Camp finished around 5-ish. And then I went to the store to get some food so I don't starve. I'm gonna try to read my Lady Jane, but to be honest, it's not that I don't wanna read it. I just, I have that, do you ever have those moments where like, you just want a physical book like in your hands so you can read it and like flip through it? Cause like right now, trying to read this ebook, I'm just, I'm not getting it. I'm not, although, that might be from distractions as well, um, but no one's home right now, so um, I wanted to edit the video because I'm still not even done editing the video from yesterday, uh, like not even halfway there <laughs> yet, but honestly at this point, I really don't feel like editing it right now, so guys, that video is not going to come up until... Oh, I don't even know when. It'll be up before this one, but I don't know when I'm even editing this one. So, it's just, it's a whole bunch of crap that's compiled together, and I just don't feel like dealing with it right now. So, I'm going to try to read, see what happens, but I might be switching over to another book if this doesn't work out. It's not that the book's not good, either. I just, I really wish I had the physical copy with me, but I don't, and I have no way of getting it. So, it is what it is. I'm just gonna keep reading and we'll see what happens. Done. Guys, I finally finished Lady J. <laughs> I am a mess. Oh, it is 10.16. Um, I just finished my second book. Ah, this took way too long to read. Anyway, I really did enjoy it. It was very, very good. So now, I think I'm starting Pride and Prejudice. Okay, so I have my apple juice and I got a Lean Cuisine frozen dinner in the microwave. So let me tell you guys exactly what I have decided to do for both of these readathons. Okay, so I am still going to be participating in both. I'm still going to be reading and everything. I am also still going to be filming videos um, for each day. The thing is, they're not going to be posted on that day because I just, with the schedule I have right now, I don't have time to be editing videos and uploading them and all that while still trying to read, while still being a counselor for a camp where I'm not allowed to have my phone or anything else. Like, I have to make sure I'm solely focused on only the kids. For Basically, I'm still doing everything that I was doing before, it just won't be shown and uploaded until later on it honestly I'm not even thinking about doing like like editing or uploading anything until Saturday and it's Thursday so two more days after this I'll finally start editing and uploading the videos because at this point I just I can't focus on it I've got too many other things at first I was really really stressing over this readathon until I finally realized you know, I'm not even letting myself have fun with the reading anymore. Now it's just like, edit this video, upload this video, blah, 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 and try to do everything at once. And it's like, I just need to calm down and just step back and just remind myself of why I wanted to do the readathon in the first place. And the whole point I do readathons is so I'm able to read more books that I normally would, and I also like to challenge myself, but I don't want to stress myself out about it to the point where it's not fun anymore to me. So I've decided I'm not even going to stress about how many books I read or anything, as long as I read any book, which so far I have two done. So I'm on my third, and I'm currently reading the fourth one as well because Flame in the Mist, you know, the outside book. Um, Although I haven't been able to wake myself up in the morning that early enough to go run before I go to camp. But anyway, basically guys, I just wanted to hurry up and say that um, this readathon has been the most challenging readathon I've ever done. 
but at the same time I'm really glad I'm I've still I'm still choosing to do it and I'm just gonna chill a little more about it and not stress about it because honestly when I'm not reading and I'm at the camp I'm still having fun I'm still enjoying my day and when I come back home you know I just I read and uh, it's I'm not saying that I don't care anymore but I'm just not going to make myself feel bad if I don't end up finishing all seven books in my TBR. So, yeah. Still doing the readathon, just not gonna stress out so much about it so I can have more fun and, you know, it. Yeah. As for these videos, I mean, like I said, you're probably not gonna see this video until maybe a August. I was about to say April. I'm gonna upload it before April, guys. But, like, real talk, y'all probably won't see this video until August. If not, then, like, this Saturday or Sunday. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have my Lean Cuisine panini with my apple juice, and I'm about to start reading Pride and Prejudice. Look at how delicious this looks. Looks great, right? I want to try the steak. Oh, that's, that's good. That, oh my gosh, there's bell pepper. I'm so excited. So, let me tell you about, ooh, that's still hot. Let me tell you about how my day has been. So, basically, this morning, I continued reading My Lady Jane, and I was very close to finishing it. I think I have maybe three or four chapters left. And I finished the last few chapters when I got back home after the camp, but ever since this morning like since uh, I want to say let me see I got to campus around 10 20 so I woke up around 6 ish and then I tried to read and I kept falling asleep because I was so exhausted and um, so no running again this is the second day I haven't run which is really upsetting I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get myself to wake up early enough to be able to run tomorrow because I just, I really want to start running again and, you know, I need to commit to it. So, hopefully, that will happen. Yeah, other than reading this morning, the rest of my day was with the camp and that was so much fun. Um, I really, really love this camp so much. I love the kids, I love the counselors and the other workers. It's just, it's so much fun, it's awesome. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And um, we got our scripts today, which is awesome. Anyway, I finished my Lady Jane, so now I'm starting Pride and Prejudice, like I said. And you know what? I'm really excited. After I finished my Lady Jane, I actually had like the vibe to want to read Pride and Prejudice because I don't know. I just I'm I'm really really craving some Pride and Prejudice <laughs> right now and. That's what I'm gonna do. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to possibly talk to y'all again more um, into the night, but it is already almost 11, so we will see. But yeah, if I don't, then this is the end of the video for day five of the Bibliothon and day four of the Booktubeathon.